Okay, so picking up where we left off, we had um, just created this basic application um, with one page, the home page, where we just entered a string as the content. We launched it in our terminal and we followed this URL and it's still live here now. So I'm just gonna turn this off. I'm gonna shut this down, control C. And let's clear that out and come back to my application file. Now, instead of directly entering text here, we saw that we could use HTML templates. And in order to use these, this is we're going to use this Flask uh, method called render template. So we need to import it. And um, then we can use it. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to return, um, sorry, render template, and I'll say home.html. So what this is going to do is this is going to render an HTML file. The way that Flask works is it understands that it's going to be, or it expects this HTML file, if I'm using this render template uh, function, to be in a folder called templates. So I need to create that file called uh, home.html in my templates folder. And then I can add some HTML to it. So maybe I'll add a header and I'll say, uh, welcome. And I'll say P, this is my site. Thanks for visiting. All right, and just save that. And again, um, make sure you save it. It's in a folder called templates with an S and that this file name matches with what my file name in um, that I passed to the render template function is. Now, just to check that this is working, you can save that, come back to my terminal, and I'm gonna run that application again, visit this URL, and it looks like it's working. All right, great. So now what we'll do is we'll add a couple more pages. So I have my home page. I'm going to add um, an about page. So I'll just do the same thing where we just have this basic uh, kind of situation where we're just rendering templates that will will make more complicated or uh, less simple, I guess. And I'll also add maybe a contact page. Okay, save that. And then I just need to add those, uh, those files to my templates folder. So I need an about.html and I need a um, contact. All right, and then let's just add some content to those files. So, um, you know, I'll add a header. So here you go, really great about page. And contact, same thing, you know, add some sort of a header. And um,
you know, I don't know what you want to, whatever you want to put for your contact information. I mean, really, I'm just trying to uh, have a basic template here. All right. And what we should be able to do now is with this saved and all of our routes established, if I enter, you know, th these additional um, components of the URL, I should find these basic pages rendered. So I still have my application running, I believe. And um, since I have the debugger going, it's, um, it's updating that. So I should be able to come here and say forward slash about. And there we go. And now contact. And here. Okay. Great. So now that we have these pages established, what we'll do in the next video is we'll just kind of clean them up a little bit and add some styling um, as well as the navigation bar.